G'day and welcome to this Australian Open Life. You're listening to The Bloke Who Walks and today it's a quick update on... Uh, a lot of months ago, so he makes... Uh, some upcoming topics and just wanted to touch base and let you know that as uh, the French Open finals start this weekend, um, we'll be bringing some a little bit of content for you uh, over the upcoming weeks leading into Wimbledon. What are we going to be covering? So uh, we have still have a lot of footage from uh, Australian Open 2022. Uh, that we're determined to publish and get out there because we filmed it. Uh, it has to, has to find a way to your screens uh, sometime this year. And what better way than to um, uh, talk about a few topics of interest. And the topics that have caught our eye, uh, well, the first thing is how do, how do we make, uh, how do we make um, relevant as an Australian open platform, how do we make relevant uh, the content that we want to bring to your screens? Well, we're going to be choosing uh, some topics of interest uh, that sort of hit our sweet spot. And for those of you who might recall, I know it was a long time ago, January, the Australian Open, but uh, we, we enjoyed delving into uh, the players behind the stats in our Spotlight series, the players in the top 100, uh, the top uh, 100 to 250 in the world and analysing uh, their success in certain uh, niche stats areas. Uh, so we're going to be doing a, a little bit of that uh, based on the choices players are making about whether or not they participate in this year's Wimbledon tournament. What do I mean by that? Well, you're just going to have to uh, tune in over the next few weeks to find out. And uh, through that, that is a natural uh, segue into qualifying for Wimbledon. Um, uh, we'll be renewing our acquaintance with qualifiers for Grand Slam tournaments. And the second major topic uh, before we wrap up today, it's just a quick, a quick little news bite to say g'day and let you know we're coming back. Uh, 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 we're just gonna be looking into life in professional tennis circles on the lower rungs of the tennis rankings. And uh, we've been doing a bit of research and uh, we've found some really interesting insights into life on tour for players who are not in the top 250 or 300 players in the world. And uh, what goes on in the mind of a professional tennis player who is trying to uh, get up those rankings. So, uh, uh, hope that you are all well, that you're enjoying your tennis, uh, that you're getting uh, a good uh, fix of uh, your Grand Slam tournaments. Uh, we've been uh, dipping in uh, the last couple of weeks just having a poke around the WTA rankings, the uh, ATP rankings, just to see and uh, keep it, also keep a little bit of a tab on some of the players that we uh, sh uh, shined a spotlight on during the Australian Open. Uh, so, uh, thanks for listening, thanks for watching. You've been watching this Australian Open Life. We tell stories and our story is tennis. He makes his own decision. Bye for now. I believe in, one, in what the, the people who knows about the